Okay. Controversial plan by the Michigan Department of Corrections has a lot of people talking tonight. It's a policy change that allows transgender inmates to receive transition related treatments paid for with tax dollars. Jermont Terry live tonight. He's got the reaction from both sides. Jermont. Yeah, Devin, at issue is whether tax dollars should be footed to pay for what some believe is elected procedure and or process. But those in the trans community say it's not about being on either side of the fence. It's something that's long overdue because it's not a choice. When people are sentenced to prison in Michigan, for the most part, you lose your right to do as you feel. So that's why news of DOC's new policy, which allows transgender inmates to receive transition treatments such as hormones from behind bars, is getting people to talk. I don't agree with it. This seems like way too much of a bother for people to put up a fight about it. Prior to the policy change, transitioning inmates were only allowed to receive treatments behind bars only if the procedures were scheduled before getting locked up. Well, I think it's very beneficial for us. Jalisa Abad is transgender. She works for equality and inclusion for the trans community. It's more than just hormones. It also says that depending on the circumstance or the individual, it's gender affirming clothing so they can wear the clothing of the gender that they pick. Now, DOC says it will also focus on the psychological state of the inmates before deciding on any treatments. Treatments taxpayers will pay for. I don't think that's a taxpayer responsibility, especially when it comes to being in a correctional facility. Well, what about the people? They were a bodybuilder when they, before they came in. They had all these things to be a bodybuilder. What, should they start getting all their vitamins and all that to keep up what that's what they did? But the bad argues as a transgender person, she pays taxes to things she doesn't agree with, too. I don't like that my tax dollars go to people that don't work and they decide to have children and not have a job. Now, Abad believes that you should not be incarcerated in order to get this medical attention. She argues it outlines a much bigger issue with the overall health care problem in our country. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Well, Jermont, do we have any idea how many inmates across the state would be affected by the change? Yeah, Devin, it's not that many, according to DOC. Yeah. They say on average they have maybe 30 to 40 inmates that are considered transgender or in that transition period across the entire state. But again, you know, they're just saying they're just trying working for equality yeah. at this point. Yeah. All right, Jermont.